Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. In this video I will show you how to reset the transfer belt counter, fuser counter or a drum counter of uh, Samsung CLP360, 365W and uh, other similar models. So, as you can see, I have already done this uh, reset and uh, actually I printed one page with this uh, transfer belt after resetting so it was showing zero now it's showing one so um, the transfer belt prior to this was at uh, uh, ten percent life remaining as I will show now here you can see ten percent life remaining on this transfer belt but uh, as you can see it was giving no problems at all and the transfer belt and the drum are uh, those components that uh, I think it's better to reset them and use them as soon as they don't create any problems so after you will start getting any printing problems then you can replace them but uh, replace um, a drum or even worse a transfer belt only because a counter is at the end of its service life I think it's not the best thing to do because differently on toner cartridges, inkjet cartridges and wasting containers etc uh, they are not uh, so precise to well count the life of uh, the components so I think it's better to reset them and use them until they are effectively not working anymore so Let's go to the computer now and uh, we'll show you how to uh, to fix this situation. So you need uh, your printer with your driver installed. Uh, the driver needs to be installed and uh, mm, you can try with uh, your own driver but if you have problems you will probably have to install a, a driver that is uh, not the latest version and uh, you can see I have found this site and I don't know for how much time this site will be uh, online this is uh, um, some kind of uh, not very legal site as I think because uh, uh, you need a software to reset the counter that is called EDC and uh, EDC is a confidential software by Samsung. So it's not something that uh, you can actually uh, find online for free and use as you want. This is a software that is, um, it's like service manuals. It's like uh, um, apps and adjustment programs. It's a software that you should not have, but uh, it's a... Uh, necessary and mandatory to reset the counter so we need that so actually uh, you can go on here and uh, we'll open another page I have translated in Italian because I can understand of course better in Italian but uh, you can see that uh, it lets you download the driver and uh, the EDC software and as you click on here it will open Yandex disk and you can download the files that are here so after you've done this you have to go to your uh, C drive and programs fi program files x86 if you have a 64 bit operating system and then you go to Samsung and uh, inside the Samsung uh, folder you have to paste the four files that are contained in the archive that you download so after this, you go to EDC and uh, hit properties, you move to compatibility and uh, modify settings for all users. Then you set uh, Windows XP Service Pack 2 in the compatibility mode and uh, execute this software as administrator because you have to give it administrator rights to uh, send specific commands to the printer driver and yeah. So now you can uh, open the file and uh, now you can resume your printer from the standby or sleep for better saying because it has to be ready for this. Okay, 
So now with the arrows here, you go to, well, try again, of course. No, 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 upper level, okay. So you go to um, clear count, hit enter, and now here you can uh, uh, clear imaging unit, so the drum, uh, transfer belt, so the ITB transfer belt, and uh, the fuser, you can clear the fuser, then you can clear the transfer roller, the pickup roller, and uh, well, these things. So just a demonstration, I will initialize again the transfer belt. And uh, now the, the command has been sent to the printer, so you have to reboot it. So we'll power off, then power back on. Okay, so now we'll print a uh, supplies information page. You have to hold this key down until this stops blinking. And you can see 0% on the transfer belt. So this software actually works, okay? So you can use that software to reset whatever you want. Not the toner cartridges, of course. So, I hope this video has been useful for you. If it has been useful for you, please give me a like and uh, share it with uh, uh, within your social media accounts. And uh, just see you in the next video. Bye.